It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. In my last video, I talked about how Michael Knowles used genocidal language against transgender people, and today's video is the opposite extreme. The following video comes directly from Peggy Flog again, and this is what she had to say about sex changes for minors. Because let's be clear, this is life-affirming and life-saving healthcare. When our children tell us who they are, it is our job as grown-ups to listen and to believe them. That's what it means to be a good parent. When I saw that video clip for the first time, it seemed as though when that person said, listen and believe, it seemed as though that what she's trying to say is to use faith on the spoken word of somebody just because somebody says it. The first definition of faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. The first definition of faith as provided by Merriam-Webster is allegiance to a duty or a person. The second definition is a belief and trust and loyalty to God. And the third definition is a firm belief for something for which there is no proof. In other words, when I use the word faith in this video, I'm referring to the definition that is like belief without proof. So, based upon that definition and based upon her sayings to listen and believe something in spite of evidence, that to me is a form of religious faith. Let's just say for the sake of argumentation that there was actually a kid that's playing on the playground and he said, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, I'm a bird. Should I actually believe and listen to him when that kid out loud says that he identifies himself as a bird? We also know that there are various cases where boys are into girl stuff and that girls are in boy stuff. So basically tomboys, they would play football, they wear like, you know, man clothes, they would do like a lot of stuff that are related to guys. And also for the case of boys, we do know that some guys want to dress up as a girl and sometimes they play dolls or, you know, Barbie. And so, of course, when they get older, they become much more masculine or become much more feminine, probably because of like a number of different factors. But the point is that it's really, really hard to actually know like what exactly is going to that person mindset when they're like really young. There's a study that's done by the National Library of Medicine and goes into great detail about the mature nation of the adolescent brain. It says right here in the study that the development and mature nation of the prefrontal cortex occur primarily through adolescence and is fully accomplished by the age of 25 years. The development of the prefrontal cortex is very important for complex behavioral performance as this region of the brain helps accomplish extensive brain functions. What I'm trying to say right here is that kids are far, far too young to make such adults decisions like being transgendered. And I don't think that just because a kid said that they're a boy or a girl doesn't mean that we should automatically believe that kid just because a girl said that they're a boy or that a boy said they're a girl. I think, and this is like this key word here, I think that people should actually believe that kid that they have once they become an adolescent. They should learn through observation by what kind of things are necessary for that kid to actually help them out because they're far too young as kids and so if you see through observations that gender surgery is the best way to go for their gender dysphoria, of course, by observation and experience, then you can say it's okay for that kid to have it once they get much older by the time they're a teenager. Look guys, I'm not trying to say that no one should listen to their kids at all time. This is not me saying that. 
what I'm trying to say right here is that you simply cannot believe your kid that they're a boy or a girl at such a young age. If you simply listen and believe a kid about that particular procedure, that to me is no different than religious faith. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.